good morning friends in this video i'm going to teach you how to register for sap certification so how you are going to register and how to do the payment those details i'm going to explain many of our uh, subscribers are requesting that can you make a video about registration of certification especially that requests are coming from the people who have not started their sap journey so you come to google and enter sap certification so here the site training.sap.com click on that so you can see here training.sap.com certification when you are opening this site for the first time system will give a pop up to select your country you can choose your respective country so based on that uh, the payment details and the price details are shown in the system then click on this button for example if you are not yet registered you need to click on the register button and give your first name last name and your email id personal email id and the phone number and set the password then click on register once the registration is completed system may send you for a verification to your email once the verification is completed you can come to this button and give the user id or whatever the email id you have given okay. then password you can input the password what are the password you have set it right the same password you can see now you have logged in with your details if you come to the sap certification and uh, list of valid certifications okay come to this button select list of valid certifications system will show you the list of valid certifications you can set based on the ids for example if you want to write ewm or you want to write as for an appointment or anything so if you remember the code for all freshers who don't have any erp experience or sap experience then they can select this code okay. you can see here the latest one ts 452 2020 1919 was earlier version so you can choose the latest version 2020 if you are opening the same site for after few months you may see 2021 okay so you have to choose the the latest version once you click on that uh, certification name what you are seeing here you can see the details about the certification what is the level associate level and 61 percentage is the cut off score duration is 180 minutes and it is available in these many languages okay and the number of questions are 80 questions so 80 questions and you need to get 61 percentage it means you need to get around 49 marks if you get 49 marks you can clear the examination okay sample questions also you can see here sample questions once i click on the view more system is showing you the sample questions so you can see that uh, you can see the sap education click on the 15 minute sample exam also you can see this Uh, there are some questions are given and you can practice it okay you can utilize this option to give a sample test when you want to to verify your knowledge after you prepare some time and you can check it or initial also you can check it to know what kind of questions are going to be asked so you can read about the description notes and when you are writing the exam and you should select a peaceful place and where there is no disturbance and proper internet is available 
and no disturbance from the kids or anybody and uh, check your internet properly available and if it is a broadband if you are any power related ensure that power is available otherwise you should have a proper backup okay so you have to because you are going to prepare and you are going to spend this much uh, money for that exam so that that 180 minutes that 180 minutes is precious for you so you should plan carefully and you should not open any other tabs for searching in google for answers don't do such kind of mistakes okay any mistake any small mistakes any ignorant activities can cause you use and the topic areas you can see here procurement more than 12 percentage will come and uh, configuration of purchasing more than 12 percentage in what certification 8 to 12 percentage you can plan accordingly in which area i'm getting most of the questions so you need 49 marks you need 61 percentage so 61 percentage which areas occupying maximum percentage and you have to plan your preparation accordingly okay so at least you have to cover the 80 percentage well and then 20 percentage you have to brush up so that you will have a maximum percentage of success rate so this is about the syllabus and exam preparation and all you can see uh, other links for any kind of additional guidelines you can see in the right hand side there are two options are available one option is six attempts and second option is one attempt what is the six attempts for example you can write the same certification exam for the first time you failed you can write again for second time you can write again for third time so you can try till three times you can try until you pass the exam and if you finish for the first time itself you can write one more examination like that if you are clearing each certification exam for the first attempt you can clear so we have two options here in the right hand side one is six attempt second one is one attempt if you are going with this cr006 you are going to get six attempts so for example first attempt you failed then you can write second or third maximum three times you can try for single exam and second exam also you can go and write it for example if you are clearing the exam for the first attempt itself you are going to have five more exams you can write it so total six exams you can write six attempts you can write and specific exam maximum three attempts okay. fail for the first time you can write for second time fail for second time you can write for third time okay that's what uh, the meaning and you can write multiple exams in the one year of time for example you don't have that much budget and you want to prepare very well and you want to clear the respective exam for the first attempt itself so then you can go for one attempt here you can see that less budget you can have uh, around 21000 we'll see after gst so you will have less expenses but you should prepare very well and you don't have a second option if you want to go for second attempt again you have to pay for that 21000 whatever you are going to get the final price so you need to think and decide it and uh, people who are mainly thinking for the financial uh, trying for the job and you don't have any employment those i can suggest to go for this one attempt give your heart and give maximum time to prepare with the sap standard materials and sample questions and understand that concepts and then you practice the questions don't go for directly practice uh, the questions it may give you the result positive but when you go for interview you will fail so understand and then practice the questions without practicing questions i never suggest anyone to go for certification exam you have to practice questions but before that you need to read theory for at least four five times okay now we are going to click on the add to basket okay. so this is the home screen you will get like this and uh, two add to baskets are available for both of them okay so you are going to select the for example one attempt click on 
add to basket. Okay, and then click on proceed to basket. It's like normal our uh, how you buy in uh, any shopping sites. If you have any kind of uh, campaign code, sometimes you may see in SAP websites or any Facebook, any kind of places, if you get any proper campaign code, you can try that. Okay, then it may give you a little bit uh, discount. Proceed to check out. See here, after taxes, the final price is 20,386.86. So this is what the final thing and uh, here the company booking here how to select your I am self employed okay you have to select this option self employed and the billing address you need to enter your address I gave some sample address here you need to give the street number street name whatever the details it should be self employed okay once you give all the details click on save okay. then system will take you to the next step called review your payment method Okay. the details are available see here how do you want to pay you want to pay with any invoice or credit card okay or if you have any other uh, preferred card number so the credit card details you need to provide it and pay so once you click on that payment uh, once you enter the details and can complete the payment then click on continue so you will get a confirmation that you have registered for the First of all, you have enrolled for that certification program. And later, once you get that uh, completion, whenever you are ready, after you have prepared well, then you go to the website and uh, verify for that certification registration. And if you have any queries, you can see that option here, chart now. Okay, you can utilize this option to ask them, I have paid for the amount, I have, this is my user ID. Okay, I'm not able to find any option. Or if you have any questions or if you have any concerns, you need to make it. So while uh, putting for the exam, you have to select the proper time zone and um, you need to give that because based on the time zone, you can allocate, for example, three hours of time you have to give without any disturbance. So you have to plan well. There is no disturbances in, the, in your house and where you are going to give the examination. And there is no other external uh, disturbances or your network is proper and your mind is peaceful. Whatever you prepared, you have to attempt. So you have to make everything ready and then you can register for the examination. During this point of time, during the payment or any kind of a questions, you can click on this chart now so that that respective team will guide you how to finish that respective activity. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to register for the SAP certification. There are two options are there, attempt, one attempt and six attempts. And whoever think for the budget and who want, whoever want to prepare very well, and uh, just give a kind of uh, one attempt you can try. Mostly you can clear it. Okay, if not, you have to go for, uh, again, you have to spend that 20,000 plus. So this is about that SAP certification registration on your own. And as you can see here, there is no need of any experience. Okay, you can directly register and you can have the certification. Prepare well, and you are going to spend 20,000 plus amount for the exam three hours of exam. So if you prepare well, but we have not set the proper internet connection and all those stuff, then your hard work and your money are going to be vanished. So you have to make everything ready during the examination. Prepare well. Good luck to all of you. Thanks for watching.